Hey y'all, I didn't know if I'd have enough uh, Wi-Fi here, but I am, um, I've kayaked down in um, a hollow off the lake. It's uh, glass water. Hmm. Besides the bird song, it's very quiet and it's very special. To just come now, there's a little breeze picking up, but in this kayak, um, yep, and it's actually in a place called Long Hollow off of Lake Travis north of Austin, and I just came to hang out, kayaked over here, maybe 20 minute kayak ride, and fish just jumped, <laughs> there I did not bring a fishing pole, um, good morning Gina, <laughs> So just coming and letting God minister to my grieving soul. Yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Turn it around so you can see. Some fish have been flipping around. Yeah. Hey, Barbara. Hey, retired. <laughs> I brought my green tea. I'm going to have a sip of green tea, but I so need this, y'all. Oh, this um, season, I feel I've been in a season of rest and of God actually hovering over me. That's what our sermon was on yesterday. We got to go to church. I got to paint. It's really sweet, really, really sweet. Um, Come and rest on me was one of the songs and just felt that. And I'm still asking God for that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I really have any... I'm just, he's just telling me to sit with him and let him hover over me. That's what happened in Genesis 1-1 when it says the Spirit of God hovered over the waters before creation started. And um, this hovering, Joaquin talked about that yesterday, of like a mother chick over her, um, over her chicks. And, uh, yeah, let me show more of this instead of my face. <laughs> um, and I feel God is healing me, helping me walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I realize I don't want to really sit in the, shadow, the valley. Though I do sit sometimes, but I want to keep moving. In God's timing. Um, yeah. I miss women so much. Then I moved to thankfulness that he's healed.
Oh, there I'm back. I just had barely any signal, so I came back. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I'm glad I could bring this. I wanted to bring my phone, so I brought a waterproof box so I could bring my phone. I came here one day last week. But I came earlier today, so I think this may be my place. So I just want to say a prayer. Yeah. Lord, I thank you that you want to hover over us. Thank you that you want to bring healing to anything of our past. You are the great healer. You, you heal diseases. There's not a single disease you can't heal. You can heal any kind of trauma from the past. Even in our family lineage, you can heal that. So Lord, I, I pray for healing to come as you hover over us as we hang out with you, as we come away to the secret place, you're there. And you are like that mama chick, just hovering over us, protecting us. We're safe in your wings. And Lord, I pray for dramatic healing for each of us in our lives, our families, our state, our cities, our country. Lord, we really desire healing and we know you are the healer. So would you heal us so that we can be your overflow of love? Yeah. So y'all, I'm gonna just turn it this way. Like this is so beautiful. This is called Long Hollow and it's off of Lake Travis. Yeah. It's really beautiful. <laughs> so, oh, there was a hummingbird that just went by. Sometimes the birds call from both sides, so. It's really beautiful. Well, I love y'all. Thanks for jumping on with me a little bit to a very quiet come away place. He really wants us to come away with him, whatever that looks like. I remember this one mom, y'all would probably know who she was, maybe in the 1700s or 1800s, I don't know. I think she was John Wesley's mother, actually, who started the Methodist Church. But she had so many kids, she would just sit in her kitchen and put her apron over her face, and that's where she would pray. <laughs> that was her come away place. So it can be any place. But I'm blessed today to be in Long Hollow by myself with the birds and the fish behind a kayak. So I love y'all. Blessings on your, yeah, this is Sunday. So blessings, y'all. Turn it around one more time.